For my final art project, I decided to depict um, an artwork done by Frida Kahlo, an artist born in Mexico City um, on July 6, 1907. Uh, the portrait or artwork that um, I'm trying to depict is called The Two Fridas, except uh, I did it in a little twist. Um, and this one I um, will be creating it out of clay. Um, my artwork will also have a little twist to it. Um, in the two Fridas, you can see that uh, both the Fridas are connected by a broken heart. Um, the veins are wrapped around each of them, connecting the two. There is like a contrasting color, and I will show that in my painting. Um, they will be also they will also be holding hands. Um, you can also see that they're are bleeding so there will be a little bit of blood on there it is more of a sad portrait as you can see um, but um, the following is how I created the project most of Frida Kahlo's paintings were actually pretty sad they depicted her sad life as she was paralyzed and she could only stay home she couldn't leave her at home um, so most of them are sad, as you can see in the two Fridas, they are sitting, so that could depict her um, paralyzed self. Um, she was more of a painter, um, but mine, I wanted to do a twist, and I decided to sculpt it. Her artwork is actually considered folk art or naive art. Um, most of it folk art meaning traditional. So it represents a lot of traditional stuff. As you can see in the two Fridas, you can see the traditional dresses. Here's a picture of all the materials that I used. Um, I used air dry clay. The white clear plastic is the base for my two figurines. Basically, they're chairs. Um, I used Crazy Art modeling clay with different colors to use for the pants and shoes. Uh, I used toothpicks. Um, only to reinforce the shoes. Uh, I use a hanger to use the wire to make the base of the body. Um, in the plate there is water there. There's a toothbrush to put to spread the water onto the clay in case it started drying um, and also to do a uh, slip and slip and paste. Um, I also have tweezers um, in order to do uh, most of the um, textures on the body and stuff. For step one, I got the hanger and undid it like this in order to create the base for the clay project. Using wire cutters, I'll bend the, the hanger in order to create the shape of two humans. Using the wire cutters, I shaped the human. You can see the legs, the body, these will be the arms, this will be upper chest, the neck, and then the head will be placed on top. Using air dry clay, I will form the body. Here's the progress so far. Got the clay set up. Still have the head and the upper body. Using toothpick, I will add texture to the face to give them a mean look. Not mean, but mad. Now that the heads have been placed on, I will now add, with a toothpick, the red eyes in order to add anger and have them bleeding. I added red in order to show the bleeding mouth after I add the rope while they're choking. Um, you can see I connected the hands here. Now we'll let it dry and come back tomorrow and begin painting. Now we'll use Sharpie.
Now that it's dry, add the hair and stuff. I have now added pants to the figurines. Their hair is done. I'll just add shirts and add the rope and they will be good to go. Just like the painting of Frida Kahlo, I decided to put blood all over them as though to death, uh, to emphasize that death. Here's all the blood. I put some on the pants just as Frida Kahlo had on the left lady. Um, I will just add the rope to finalize it. Now I'll be using this piece of string to represent the rope instead of the heart connection uh, or the vein that uh, Frida Kahlo used. Here is the final product. Uh, I tried my best. Um, I think it looks good for my clay making techniques. Of course I'm not the best artist uh, but I think it does represent pretty much what I was trying to put out. Um, I did put some effort into this. It took some thinking and some researching on how to actually make a clay project. But here it is. The social angle that I believe ties back to this piece is uh, mostly gender and Frida Kahlo's admiration for the female body. She wants everyone to view her um, as a beautiful person and admire the way she was made. Obviously you can see the unibrow, which to us is not very beautiful, but to her it's an admiration of her body. Um, this painting is very feministic, depend depicting the two women as independent. Um, they are holding each other's hand, I believe, to reinforce one another. And since there is an absence of a male figure in most of her paintings, that can also show how powerful the female can be and how she does not rely on the female, as her husband was never there for her.